the place shape tool to get to this tool I'll go to my main toolbar and go to my polygon tools hold my left mouse button down and select my place shape tool in my place shape tool you have different variables you can define a length or you can define an angle and also your fill type if you want it set to none opaque or outline very similar to what some of these other tools will allow you to do you also have this closed element which will automatically close the element if you want to close the element once you're finished with it so this first example I'll just dynamically place this shape I'll left click once to start it left click again and I'll just keep left clicking to find a shape and then if I want to close it I could come down here and snap to the end point of that line to close it or I can simply click on this close element and it'll close the element so if I come back and use my element selection tool in my main toolbar here and select it you'll see that it's a shape and if I hover over top of it it'll also define that it's a shape on whichever level that I placed it on I'm going to go ahead and delete that I'll go back to my place shape tool you also have these variables that I could define a length so if I knew all my lengths were let's say 30, 30 feet I can lock that value in I could do the same thing for the angle and now if you come out here and try to place that shape you'll see that my length each one of those lines is 30 feet or whatever I define it. Now if I want to close it out I could simply come back in here and close the shape out by selecting the close element and I'll close the element out. So that's what the place shape tool will allow you to do is to place a shape out there, a closed shape that you can use in your file.